managerial implications. This is going to be the last topic that I am going to discuss. Knowledge about research design issues helps to understand what the researcher is attempting to do. The manager also understands why the report sometimes indicates data analytic results based on small sizes when a lot of time has been spent in collecting data from several scores of individuals as in the case of studies involving groups, departments, or branch offices. One of the important decisions a manager has to make before starting a study pertains to how rigorous the study ought to be, knowing that more rigorous research designs consume more resources. The manager is in a position to weight the gravity of the problem experience and decide what kind of design will yield acceptable results in an efficient manner. For example, the manager might decide that knowledge of which variables are positioned with employee performance is good enough to enhance performance results and there is no need to ferret out the cost. Such a decision would result not only in economy in resources, but also cause the least disruption of the smooth flow of work for employees and preclude the need for collecting data longitudinally. Knowledge of interconnections among various aspects of the research design helps the managers to call for the most effective study after weighting the nature and magnitude of the problem encountered and the type of solution desired. One of the main advantages in fully understanding the difference between causal and correlational studies is that managers do not fall into the trap of making implicit causal assumptions when two variables are only associated with each other. They realize that A could cause B or B could cause A or both A and B could cover A because of some third variable. What is causal studies by the way? So let us talk about causal studies. It examines if there is a cause and effect relationships between two separate events. This would occur when there is a change in one of the independent variables which is causing changes in the dependent variable. Example, a company implements a new individual marketing strategy for a small group of customers and sees a measurable increase in monthly subscriptions. After receiving identical results from several groups, they concluded that the one-to-one -one marketing strategy has the causal relationship they intended. Correlational studies looks for variables that seem to interact with each other. Now, when you see one variable changing, you have a fair idea of how the other variable will change. Example, if there are multiple pizza trucks in the area and each one has a different jingle, we would memorize it all and relate the jingle to its pizza truck. This is what correlational research precisely is, establishing a relationship between two variables. In this particular example, we have the jingle and the distance of the truck. The louder the jingle, the closer the pizza truck is to us. Knowledge of research design details also helps managers to study and intelligently com comment on research proposals and on research reports. That will be all. That would be all. Thank you.